Yes. Well, the Business Day newspaper is reporting, and I think this is very uh, interesting story, how we undo ourselves uh, inside the technical itches behind Beaver's failure. Yes, and this story is about a certain Chidi Wafo, who until November last year, uh, thereabout, was the director of IT at INEC headquarters. And he was transferred to Enugu State as, guess what, my brother? Administrative secretary. <laughs> no, my brother, we, this is a story we should, and as a nation, this is the kind of thing. Perhaps uh, we must be more vigilant next time. Because the reason, of course, this, you say this is the opinion of the paper or the sources they contacted, that it was moved because the powers that be, this is, this is I'm quoting Business Day Report, okay. they call it their big story, mm -hmm. that he was moved because the powers that be said that they couldn't induce him to interfere with Beavers on election day. That's they sent him to, to anyone administrative as administrative secretary, administrative secretary. But he was not the only one deployed at that period. Others were deployed also. But let me even read his CV. That will shock you. One four, who was born in Anambra and grew up in Enugu, has a bachelor's degree in electronic engineering from the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, and the University of Lagos. He moved on to Japan where he studied computer programming. He also obtained an MSc in economics and an MBA in management. That is not all. He developed this beaver system because I've heard I know people saying it was developed in house. This is just like a confirmation. He developed this beaver system and has built systems in place to avoid. He developed this beaver system and has built systems in place to avoid what is happening now, said one of the sources. Now, Mr. Shabali, yes. You see where our problem is coming from? Yeah. Like when we remove round fair from round hole and take them into what looks like Siberia. But um, something must have happened. Because a light expert. Yeah, we suddenly sent uh, the, 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 the So this is to further prove to Nigerians how insincere and horrible INEC professor, led by Professor Mahmoud is. Here is engineer Che De Wafo, the guy who is in charge of the beavers, who is in charge of INEC ICT. But pre prior to the election, Che De Wafo was transferred to Enugu State, where he will not have control of the beavers of the software or even the back end of INEC you know, softwares. And that was why they made us to believe that the presidential portal on 25th of February, you know, two weeks ago, failed. There was server error. Ainek and Professor Mahmoud, they know what they did. So he professor, this professor, or excuse me, not professor, this engineer, the one for, if he was there, he has been managing it. He has been the one in charge of it, but they transferred him because they needed to manipulate the system. They needed to mess the system up. And now, after they have done what they want to do, and they have illegally pronounced um, Tinubu the winner of the uh, 2023 presidential election, this guy is coming to tell us they want to reconfigure the machine. Reconfigure the machine for what? So if the governorship and state assembly election works fine and they will say, okay, it's because we reconfigured the machine. This is all lies. Cheap, cheap lies. We cannot be deceived. And even the Court of Appeal has granted, you know, Atiku Abok of PDP and P2P of Labour Party, the access to inspect election materials. But I is saying we can't allow parties to inspect our election materials isn't that crazy 
it is indeed so we cannot trust INEC again even labor party and obedience they are organizing um occupy INEC rally today in abuja today um 13th day of march 2023 so INEC cannot be trusted we can't you know they can't give us the award again and we'll take it because professor mamu failed you know he failed nigerians he disappointed nigerians so we don't have trust in him again what was the reason behind the relocation or transfer of engineer children they can't explain that to us they did what they did and we have seen what they did it's unpleasant we can't accept it and nigeria cannot continue the way it is going 